There were a number of clubs interested in signing Jim Hamilton from Hearts, but Aberdeen was the only one he would entertain. The move to the North East has taken him back to the city where he was brought up and back to the people and places he knows best. Hamilton has come home, literally, until he finds himself a flat in the Granite City. He's moved back in with mum and dad, and he's glad to be back. I was a bit surprised that somebody had got an offer accepted. He says, but when I found out it was Aberdeen, I was, there was no question I was going to speak to them. He says, uh, from up this way, and another big club, so I had to take the chance. Were they the club you followed as a, as a lad? I did support them when I was a boy. I used to go to the, the games. He says, uh, always a dream that you play for them but when you go away to other clubs you think it's the chance has passed but I'm glad the chance came again. How disappointed were you to leave Hearts and given that you're leaving them in the state that they're in? It was disappointing to leave Hearts, it's had two great years there it says, uh, but it is disappointing the position they're in at the moment, it says I would like to have left in better terms but the chance that Aberdeen came in and had to take it. He had to take it, not least because the Hamilton family already has ties with the club. Jim's father, Jim Senior, played for the Dons in the late 60s and early 70s. He left Batodre, though, at the age of 21, so he's pleased to see his boy carry on the dynasty. Everybody's been delighted. It's, uh, it's taken a long time to get there. I think they watched him when he was younger, and nothing happened, and they went via Dundee Hearts to get back here. And it's, it's great to be back here. I take it there'll be a certain degree of paternal pride when you see him running out in the, the red and white for the first time? Oh, definitely, definitely. And it's, <laughs> it's going to be a, save me a fortune running to Edinburgh the other week. It's only sort of 40 minutes in Aberdeen. Your dad was your first manager, wasn't he? Back at Keith. How was he? The worst. Really? Ah, he wasn't too bad. He says, uh, I've had uh, better because uh, I used to get a bit more stick from my dad. There was another proud father in evidence at Tyne Castle as Hearts unveiled Hamilton's successor in the front line. Darren Jackson has been given the chance to resurrect his career and he's determined he won't be doing that in the first division. I'm not even thinking that. I, um, I've, I've been, I, the manager brought me here and he, he said he's going to try and bring in another couple um, to get things right here. Um, but he's, he's bringing them in for next year as well to do well. Um, this has been hopefully a, a hiccup. Um, because it was fantastic what they'd done last year, winning the cup, finishing third in the league. So they don't become bad players. It's all about confidence. And as I say, hopefully the new signings can add a bit of confidence to the dressing room and get uh, the place going again. Jackson was brought up a jambo, a fact borne out by the match programme from a game against Aloha 21 years ago. Young Darren ran out at the head of the team with his new gaffer, Jim Jeffries, at his side. He was a captain, yeah. He, he, he led me out, so... Um, that was a bit funny walking down the tunnel with him again. But when he runs out next, there'll be no one happier than his father Adam, a lifelong heart supporter. It was the proudest day of my life. I always dreamed about him being here, but after he played a trial when he was 16 and it nothing happened, I didn't think it would ever happen, but I'm really happy today. Great, I'm delighted for him. And I think he'll do well. Alongside Jackson up front, a man Hearts fans thought they might not see again. Stefan Adam has signed up for another three years in Gorgie and he's on the hunt for more glory with his new partner. Darren is a good player. He's got uh, an international experience and uh, at this moment we need, we need that. We need experience and we need the uh, fight, you know. Uh, Darren uh, didn't play uh, for a long time and uh, he's very, very hungry. So. Uh, I hope we'll be very, very, we'll have a good understanding and we will score a few goals for the team, yeah.